surprised that she asked me, Nance. Oh, didn't you get the memo? Daddy changed his mind. What is she talking about? Oh, he decided that his wife isn't crazy after all. I don't believe you. Tell her. I am staying right here. What happened? Was there some sort of delay or something? Ford, talk to me. She's not going to say yes. But if you don't have her committed, you're not planning on staying married to her, are you? I don't have a choice. Of course you have a choice. The only choice there is. Tess isn't stable. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you a doctor? Hey. Oh, I didn't think so. Okay, what happened? You just called the hospital and told them not to come? Oh, no, they, no. they came. The guys on the white coats, they came. One of them was actually really hot. I kind of... I'm not talking to you. Tell me what happened. I, I couldn't go through with it. Why not? Putting Tess away would only be a, a temporary fix. And in the end, it, 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 it wouldn't have gotten me what I wanted. I thought you wanted me. Oh, snap. Would you shut up? Of, of course I want you. I want you, and I want my son. And if she comes with the package, no. what? What? That's just too bad. I relax, little drama queen. It's okay. You're not going to be cut off. What? I'm very open-minded. You know, I can share. If my husband gets tired of filet mignon and wants to nibble Tess, on a little bit of hamburger, hey, don't you have somewhere to go? Don't you have something to do? Yes, actually, I do. I'm going to leave you here with little Miss Whiny, and I'm going to go shopping. I need to get some things for my new wardrobe. What store would even be open right now? Oh, there's always somewhere open for me. I believed you. I believed you were going to have Tess committed. I was, and then the people from St. Anne's, they showed up, but something happened. I don't care what happened. I care how long you plan on being married to her. What, a month? Oh, a year? Two? No, no. Langston! Ten? No, stop! You want the honest answer? I don't know. You know I don't want to be married to Tess any longer than I have to. Okay, but like I said, I didn't... I didn't have a choice in the matter. My hands are tied here. How? All right. I made a deal with the landlord to give me an extension on my rent. Somehow she got to him, and now I find out that if I don't pay everything I owe him by tonight, he's going to evict me. Okay, so what, what does this have to do with Tess? If, if I stay married to her, then I have access to Ryder's trust, and I can, I can pay the rent out of that. That's what this is about? Money? No. I uh, could pay your Langston, rent. I can't take your money. Oh, so you can't take money from me, but you could take it from some crazy slut? The money from that trust isn't Tess's, it's Ryder's. It's my responsibility to make sure that he has a safe place to live. I can only use the money for things that help him. I can't make that your responsibility. But I have the money. No, no, Dorian has the money. And do you know how much she would flip out if she found out you were trying to support me and my kid? But if it ties you to Tess forever... It's, it's not gonna be forever! But I have to be smart. God, it's like everybody wants a piece of him. He's not some commodity, you know. Who's treating him like one? Clint Buchanan, Vicky Banks. Look, they had these papers drawn up saying that they have the sole right to... They have the sole right to, to parent my son. And I'm supposed to settle for visitation. Yeah, but this could work. I mean, Vicky's a great person, and she's Jessica's mother. Why shouldn't she raise her grandchild until... Until what? Until Jessica gets better? Yeah. Because if Jessica gets better, then she and Brody are going to raise this child by themselves, like they've always planned. And where does that leave me? Nowhere. You don't know that. Jessica doesn't want me anywhere near her son. <laughs> and her and her father are going to have me back in court in a heartbeat, fighting for the right to say that I even exist. Okay. You have been listening to Tess. No, no. I've been facing facts. Okay? And that's why I didn't take this generous offer. Do you understand? Yeah, without even asking me. It was take it or leave it. They weren't going to give me time to think it over. So much for how important I am to you. I thought that there wasn't going to be any decision made without me. Langston, if you just try to listen to what I'm understanding, I have you can tried. understand. I can't. This is the kind of decision that I used to run away from. But you changed all that. Me? Yeah, you, you showed me that I needed to take responsibility for my actions and, and that's what I'm trying to do right now for my son your son not mine I'm sorry I, I thought that you wanted to be a part of writer's life 
I thought that you wanted the two of us to be together. But, but now there's a baby? And yeah, it was exciting at first, but that is so huge, Ford. I'm not ready to be a mother. Well, well, I'm not asking you to be this child's just mother. Just look at it from my perspective for just two seconds, okay? Just a few weeks ago, we, we were supposed to have this great big night together. It was going to be our first time together as a real couple. Yeah, I, I remember. And, and, and now what? It's like I didn't even get a chance to be your girlfriend, and now I'm supposed to be your mistress? No, Lynx, that's the last thing that I want. Come on. But as long as you stay married to Tess, that's all I will be, and I can't do that. So, so what are you saying? We're done. Wait, wait a second. So, wait, that's it? We just stopped trying? I know you want to be with me, but you also want your baby, and there's just no way that we can make that work. You make it sound like I'm, I'm choosing Ryder over you, and that's not what's happening right now. This isn't about what's happening right now, Ford. This is about something that happened a long time ago when you left your little brother with someone who was hurting him, and you've never been able to forgive yourself for that. Or do you? I understand why you can't get past that, but if you need Tess to be in your life, there's no place for me. I said that's not true. You have Ryder, and he's a beautiful baby, and you love him, and you should. I wish you the best. I really do. Wait, Lacey, wait, wait a second. Is there anything left to say that we haven't already said? I didn't think so.